Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In uh, today's video, we are talking about um, two activities that happen on the Monday after um, Mangido, the Monday after the Sunday of the announcement. So, uh, on this Monday, very early in the morning, the ladies of the family come to the house of where the wedding is to come and collect what we call a doloshivanda and um, which is just sent from um, what is doloshivanda in English is it called a um, pillar of scent I think it's called pillar I don't know but let me know if you know so they collect this scent and uh, this scent is used to mold what we call a mafia okuma molding is um, okuma you know molds with their hands what we call a mafia a mafia is what we use to cook we use for cooking in the village so we put three of those together and in the center we light fire and on top of the three we put our pots so i'm sure most of you will know what the mafia is ah so uh for weddings for our weddings we, um you know we make ingobeles and we knew everyone that has oshingobele cook their food there and for their people that come to them people that they've invited and for our weddings you don't just come and cook on anything uh like we know in recently in most houses people use bricks or anything that as long as the pot can balance to make their mafias so for weddings you don't just come and use anything you use now these mafias that are made on that monday morning made in that house where the wedding is so and it's done very early in the morning and I, I also think the other reason why they do it very early is because they probably don't want to walk in the sun because pff, it's very hot in the north but even though this one ended up happening in the sun because homegirl my aunt Okwita Fukike was late the one that was lost in the second video the Monday she was late and like I said, nothing can happen if this lady is not there. So the people came early, but because she was not there, they had to wait for her to come because she used she has to walk in front of them and everyone must be behind her to go and collect the scent now. And after the collection, they bring the scent into the house, they wet it so that it's able to be molded. Uh, everyone molds their mafias and for those that live far those that are not able to make it they can come get from these ones that are, are made by the others Nena, so it's yeah, okay, it. it's monday yeah. after my giddles yeah. because we are in ukwanyama makulu mm. is busy making mafias mm. as to their culture we are supposed to make mafia so when people come and get make their ingoboles they can go mafia so she's busy here making oma what's the mafia yes yellow 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 So traditionally, these mafias are supposed to be molded with hands, but I've noticed recently people have managed to find shortcuts 
and the most people now also use um those big cans where she cannot land the money in these big cans baked beans chakalaka those ones the big ones they can also they all some people also use those um like um you will see in the video that some people are using cans but i've seen my mom did not use that those cans she made hairs with her own hands and the lady my aunt Ogwita Fukike, she also didn't use the cans hairs were also made with hands but other people have used the cans because they are faster and it's also easier and the shape also comes out like i think they come out like nicely strong or i don't know you forgot your phone <laughs> the are here. i think they have any shape <laughs> The mafias are left in the sun to to dry like the whole of the monday and the tuesday and half day of the wednesday because from wednesday uh, afternoon people start using them um that's when um you hear sometimes people say um that means um that's the day um uh, the people uh start brewing the the traditional beer for for the wedding i mean what is the vamp wedding without omalodu and they brew the reason they brew on wednesday they start brewing on wednesday is because there's so much that happened that happened on on thursdays also this is when a moko come uh this is also when a hungis happen so People must start drinking Malodu from the first day already. And so, like, a hungis last for so long. In the olden days, people used the sunrise from the Thursday uh, to the Friday of the wedding. And if the wedding is on Saturday, the sunrise from Friday evening to the saturday of the wedding but no people don't sunrise anymore but still the hungis are always there people will hungila maybe like until 12 or 1 or 2 depending on the vibe in the house so people must have malodo to drink that thursday evening uh, let's now talk about the second activity of the day same day the monday after the sunday of the announcement okay so later in the evening or let me say um late in the afternoon from let's say 4 p.m day this now what is called uh this process in is done by still by hegona like so there's a mixture that is applied on your body as the bride and in this uh mixture is made of three things Olukula, majetaku, ekwanga. <laughs> so here we are just waiting for home girl to finish mixing those three that i spoke about earlier so we can go forward with um the process <laughs> Shake up of something. So, you know, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the
I want to explain what these things are. Olukula is made from um, a tree that we have in the north that is called Omova. Very, very scarce, mostly just found Kefoka. And it's made from the roots of this tree. So these roots are dried and later on they are pounded into powder. And then this powder is now what's mixed with these other two. And the third thing is Omajetaku. Omajetaku are made from um, also a tree that we have in the north. And this one is called Ontaku. This tree has fruits and this fruits has seeds. These seeds are also pounded and the process of extracting omajetaku is exactly the same. The same way people extract marula oil. So ahengwa. And then takujedzi and then the rest is now oil. This is this oil is what um, our grandfathers and grandmothers used to apply on their bodies in the olden days when there was no vaseline no lotion nothing this is what they used to apply on their daily basis it's really really very much normal to apply on your body like i remember growing up my grandmother always had this uh omaje etaku she used to apply it but not us because it has some a little bit of smell but for her she liked it so much and so it's very much normal to apply this. The third thing is ekwang. Ekwang is that red thing that the himbas, is it himbas or dembas? Those ones. That red thing that they apply all over their body. The bamboos also use that and they like it so much. They respect it so much. Apparently it also protects your skin from uh, sunburn and whatnot. So somehow it's also sunscreen. So these three are mixed. And this mixture is now what is applied all over your body by your hegona. Oh, teko fukike. Right. So, eilomo nane polu pale. And I'll explain further after you have seen the process. Donata, I am So apparently it's really hard to pound olukula and it takes long uh, and in the olden days when you are getting married it was a must for you to pound your own olukula but for me my home homegirl did these things for me she came ready
So you must sleep with those things on your body. I slept looking like that. And no, I didn't sleep on my bed obviously because oh god I had white sheets and whatever. <laughs> so I slept on the mattress and the sheets I woke up in. I slept in woke up in a different <laughs> color. But the good thing is um once you watch these things come up nicely. So yeah, you must sleep like that. I slept like that and I only burst the following day. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nicely and i want also to highlight one thing after i took a bath the following day my skin felt really nice so i think the oshide thing it really works some sort of magic on a person's skin and i i've seen a, a page on instagram or of a girl that makes a foundation like makeup foundation and she says um i remember one of her ingredients uh is a kwanga so maybe she has she has done research on this also so i think i must try out her foundation since a kwanga is so good for skin <laughs> I was very really shocked when my mom said my aunt could have used my jemeke or my jengo basin she didn't have on my jetaku. Okay, I know about my jemeke, the ones we use for hair, it can also be applied on the body. But on my jengo I mean that's food guys. And it has this weird smell. Oof, mm -mm, no, how am I supposed to be smelling like that the whole day? And the whole night, mm -mm, no. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That's the process of Okulomonwa in Oshikonyama and um, you see um, if you look at the things that my aunt is using she had Olukula and um, Ekwanga but not Omajetak so she used um, Vaseline you know these things it, it, it's not like it will have any effect on the wedding if you don't have all these three things um, to do this it's just that it's part of the process it's part of the culture it must happen but you use what is there you compromise and move forward life must must always move forward I'm sorry if I've talked too much I just wanted to sort of explain in a little bit detail because we miss these things mostly because when we go to weddings we go like a day before or two days before the wedding and these things happen like way early in the week so we don't get to see these things that's why I, I even went in to explain what each of these things are so yeah that is it it's just one of those things so we must not think um when when parents or elders are telling us to do these things don't we must not uh, act like we or want to make them look like we don't know what they are doing this sometimes these things are, are important to them because they are of a certain significance just like how in houses when you go kumbo wajabushimba sometimes uh, or most of the times uh, your mom or if you live with your grandmother she would say don't leave the house in Ojomuta you know so in Ojomuta cannot be anything it's always pap and evanda you know in even if they smith evanda is always there so apukala a titila evanda a titinelo longyama if they smith and sometimes uh, evanda is not even cooked they just break a piece and put it there pelilo if they smith and they say before you start eating your meat bite from a vanda just be because it's how it's supposed to be done you know if they say it's important i'm not saying do anything but question and understand why they are saying it's important obviously if you're uncomfortable you don't have to do certain things but uh, some things are really not that deep it's just part of the process and it's just cultural practices oh i had to come outside because it's really dark in the house to close out the video. <laughs> so
so thank you guys for watching i hope you have picked up something new from this video and um if there's something that you would want to share with us maybe something to add or i don't know anything please don't hesitate to drop it in the comments and um also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet um guess what homegirl has now 100 and something subscribers 109 i think or something small but <laughs> it's something and also do like the video share it with your uh friends and families um yes man we'll meet again in the next video thank you guys very much ciao